Good morning park managers and welcome back to Community Park 9.0. Today Alfie asked for a baryonyx in a wooded ravine with a river going through it. Now we already have baryonyx within our community park and they are the ones that run wild and free around the outsides in the swamp that surround the park. But I thought, you know what, we'll, we'll add an actual enclosure for it. We could almost say that this is almost like a rehabilitation enclosure for it it might have got injured so we're going to stick it in here and it has like time to recover before it goes back out into the wild swamps that actually surround our park so the way i was going with it i did want like the river going down the middle which then leads to a bank which then goes all the way up to the gate where the staff can get in and as well as probably the area where they've like introduced the baryonyx into the enclosure i also had a fair bit of sand knocking around um so now it's got dust baths and like those kind of opportunities and i feel like it just adds to sort of like that river creek kind of like feel like where you go into like ravines there's one i say not too far from me it's like an hour's drive away and it looks so cool and it, it doesn't look like it should be in England it has like tons of sand on the sides and has all these pines and other like oak trees and things like this and it looks really cool so it's the kind of vibe I was going for was to sort of mimic that almost as it looks really interesting and I was quite happy with this enclosure I feel like it, it fits in with the rest of the aesthetics of the park and uh, the baryonyx looks it looks great in it when you're just watching it like move around it's got woodland on the banks and then bits on the side i'll see enough room so the viewing galleries can see the river and can see the baryonyx when it's going to go and get its food but yeah i really enjoyed making this enclosure now if you want to add your own dinosaurs or creatures into this park let me know in the comments just tell me what dinosaur you'd like to have or other type of prehistoric creature and then let me know what kind of enclosure you'd like to see it in. You can either keep it brief or you can go into depth with it so I know exactly what kind of feel you'd like to achieve and uh, yeah if you want a particular skin pattern or colour let me know that even if you want to give it a name I'll even do that part as well. But yes, as always, thank you for watching. I hope this has given you a little bit of inspiration. Until next time, I'll see you later.